Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we wanted to create an update video to a video that we posted online quite some time ago on how to create a bootable USB Sierra installer for Mac OS X. Now we're into Mac OS X High Sierra, so I thought it would be worthwhile to create an update based on the latest operating system. So the whole idea here is that you're creating a bootable installer that you fit on a, um, a USB key or a USB flash drive and that can be used to boot your computer and then load the operating system. Uh, this is especially useful if you need to load the operating system on more than one computer so that you're only downloading the operating system once. It can save you a lot of time and a lot of data as well. Uh, also, by booting from a USB key, it gives you more control over how the installation takes place. It allows you to do things like wipe out your internal hard drive so that you um, have a fresh hard drive with nothing on it and then load the operating system so you end up with a Mac with just a clean operating system. Uh, especially if you're having a lot of problems with your computer or even more so if you want to sell your computer and make sure that there's nothing on there uh, of any personal data for when you pass the computer along. This is really handy. So the very first thing to do is to download a copy of High Sierra. So you do that by going to the App Store. And once you're in the App Store, you'll see usually in one of the top links here, there'll be a link for High Sierra. But if there isn't a real obvious link for it, you can do a search on High Sierra as well. And it should come up uh, right away. So when, once you're in to the High Sierra page, you can click on the download button and then the software should start downloading immediately. So here it's calculating uh, the amount of time it's going to take to download and we'll get a little progress bar showing uh, how long the download will be. You can also see the progress in the launch pad as well just by hovering over here it shows us exactly how many megabytes are downloading of our 5.21 gigabyte download. Now this is a big download it's going to take quite a while um, and on my particular internet connection, it's going to take uh, 25 or so minutes I see here. So depending on your internet connection, it might come down faster, it might come down slower. Uh, so you'll just have to be patient and let it complete. So uh, just so you're not waiting through the whole video for this download, I'm going to speed up this download process. Okay, the High Sierra installer has fully downloaded and what happens is it automatically opens the installer application. So we don't want to install right now, we actually just want to copy everything correctly onto the uh, USB flash drive. So the best thing to do here is to quit the installer and quit the App Store. And then you'll find that the installer is now sitting in your applications folder. So if we go and open a new finder window and click on applications and scroll to I, there's an application in here now called install Mac OS High Sierra and it's 5.23 gigabytes. So the next thing we need to do is prepare our USB flash drive. So get a USB flash drive, make sure it's about 16 gigabytes. I think that's usually the smallest these days and uh, they're fairly inexpensive. Um, it should cost you a lot to get that. Plug it into your Mac and we should see it come up on the desktop. Okay, so here I have one uh, by Kingston, but what we're going to do is change the name and you can make it really any name. You can even leave it as the, the, in my case, the Kingston name, but because these will all have different names for all of you out there, I'm going to show you a way just to make the name um, compatible with the command line code that I'm going to give you in the description. That way you don't have to do a lot of typing and there'll be less uh, chance for errors in the code. So the next thing to do is while you're in your applications folder, scroll down to the utilities, open that, and within the utilities folder, there's a program called Disk Utility. Open that up. And point it towards your USB thumb drive. So in this case, it's my Kingston drive. 
and just clue, choose erase. And we're just going to call it Mac Installer. And make sure you type it like this, capital M, capital I. And then pop up the format to be Mac OS Extended Journaled. We'll click Erase. And after a minute, it should format and put the icon back on your desktop. Great, it is done. So just click done here. Now we can quit disk utility. Now that our USB drive is prepared, we are ready to enter the command that will turn it into a bootable macOS High Sierra installer. So in the utilities folder, there is also the terminal program. So you can open up the terminal program. And the whole idea here is that we type in the code and it will create the the installer right on the USB flash drive the way we need it to. Now I wouldn't bother typing in the command as I'm typing it in. I've put it in the description below. So please just copy and paste it. So as long as you've named your USB key exactly the same as this, Mac installer, capital M, capital I, and your High Sierra installer is sitting in your applications folder, then the command as you copy and paste it should work fine. But I'm going to type it out here so you can see the process. So we type in here sudo and then the path to the installer file. So install macOS High Sierra app. And then we need to find inside that there's a special resource that allows us to do this. So resources, create install media space dash dash volume and this shows the volume that it's going to put it on so in this case our usb thumb drive so mac installer space dash dash then application path Base slash applications and then our installer space dash dash no interaction ampersand ampersand say done so that'll just make it say done when it's finished uh, processing so then we can hit return it will ask for your password for your computer just type that in and now it will go through the process. First thing it's going to do is actually re-erase the uh, USB uh, flash drive. And then it's going to copy all the installer files on there. Then it's going to put a copy of the Mac op operating system on there to allow it to be bootable. So all this will take quite some time. Um, it could take 15 minutes, could take 20 minutes, could even take half an hour. So you're just going to have to uh, wait a while while it finishes copying everything on there. Um, it's, you know, well over five gigs of data and lots of organizing of the files that it needs to do. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to uh, fast forward that, skip to the end and then show you the finished results. But uh, please be patient on your side and wait for the process to finish. OK, after about 15 minutes of processing, the USB key is prepared and ready to go. So now I'm going to switch to camera mode to show the process of rebooting using the USB key and how you would install the operating system from there. Now we are ready to reboot our computer from the USB key. Make sure your USB key, USB flash drive is plugged into your computer and prepared. It's ready here on the desktop and we can go and choose to restart the computer. As soon as you hit restart, hold down the option key on the keyboard. Especially after you hear the, uh, the chime. And then all the drives will show up on the desktop. So we can see here we have our main hard drive. We've got, I've got a Windows drive on here on the boot camp. 
and our new installer. So here we can click on our installer and the computer will continue to start up. So we'll give it a minute to start up. It may take a little bit longer than normal because it's booting from the USB flash drive instead of from the internal storage, which is faster. So I'll speed up the video here uh, just so you're not waiting too long for the restart to happen. Now that it's restarted, it automatically opens up the macOS Utilities application. And from here we have a few options. We can restore from a time machine backup if it's plugged in. Uh, we can install the operating system immediately from here, get help online, or uh, we can reformat the internal hard drive since we're booted from the USB drive and do a completely fresh install. So if you wanted to reformat the hard drive, and don't, don't do this unless you really need to, make sure all your data is backed up. Then you go into here, choose your main op hard drive, and then choose erase. Once you're done, it would show a fresh drive with whatever name that you want to give it. And then you would click on install macOS. macOS High Sierra installer starts and you're ready to hit continue and step through and do the system install. You choose the hard drive you want and then click continue. In this case, it says unlock because it's an encrypted drive. From there, you just follow the prompts and you've installed High Sierra on your computer. I hope this video has been helpful in creating a USB macOS High Sierra installer boot drive. And I hope that you're able to install High Sierra on a number of computers. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. It'll really help me a lot and uh, subscribe and share the video with anyone you feel would really benefit from this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.